Hello everyone, it's Mike here. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you how I did this iRig for this Carter. I know Procreate Dreams is not a rigging tool or has any rigging feature, but I think it has some options that are quite useful if we want to create a, some sort of rig. First of all, we're gonna start out in Procreate. We're gonna take our file with the CAD and the eye structure, everything split into different layers. We're gonna group the eye pieces, then duplicate them. Then we're gonna just flip it and of course place it in the right spot. Then I want to fix just the eye glow to make sure it looks the right way. And once I got my file finished, I can import it into Procreate Dreams. Now I'm in Dreams, let's just switch between apps and let's bring the file into Dreams. Now here I'm gonna drop it on the timeline and of course as you can see I have my tail animation that I did previously. So if you want to know how I did that, comment below and I will make a video in the future to show you how you can do it too. Now that we have the file here, we can just hit convert layers to tracks so we can open our file and have the whole layer structure open and ready to be set for the rig. So first of all, we're gonna combine the glow with the pupil and let's get rid of the extra tracks we have on the file. Now that we have both pieces joined together, we can move them around, see that it works, okay. So now let's just mask it we use the clipping mask option. So now the pupil and the glow are just moving inside the eyeball. We're gonna do the same with the eyelids, the one in the bottom and the one on top. This one is set and it's looking great. We're gonna do the same with the second one. Clipping mask and it's working just right. So now that we have the whole eye set, let's do the same for the second eye. I'm gonna just skip this part so you already know how it goes. So now we're gonna animate the eyes. For this, we're gonna create the keyframes at the beginning of every single track. Then we're gonna create keyframes in the time, in the moment we want it to blink. So we create every keyframe for the open position of the eyes and then we create the blink, right? The closed position right in the middle. So here we can then move the lids, have them in the right place where we want them. And once we got it, Okay, this is looking good, but I feel like the time is off, so let's try to fix that. I'm gonna move them to the left a little bit, and now it looks much better. Okay, so let's do the same with the other eye. Let's just create the keyframes. I already know where they go. So let's put them there from the beginning. Now let's create the close position. And that looks just good, okay. So I hope it was useful for you. I think it's quite a simple method and I hope you get to use it in one of your animations in the future. If so, let me know in the comments.